Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. This is my garage sale and thrift store haul for, let's see, August 11th through the 25th. Um, I didn't really go to any sales this past weekend except for a couple on Friday, so I don't have much to show you from there so that's why I condensed these and then I have a few things from a thrift store. Um, it's been an interesting week <laughs> and not in a good way. Ugh. Um, my daughter sprained her ankle Tuesday night. It's now Monday almost a week later. She was trying to do a flip on a trampoline at the gymnastics place um, where they have like open gym a few times a week and she rolled her ankle and my daughter is the biggest drama queen you will ever see I mean it's incredible um, I know she's a Leo and I guess that sign's supposed to be dramatic but I always tease her I'm, I'm like were you born on the most dramatic day of your zodiac sign because holy cow you are amazing um, so we've been doing the ice and the heat and elevating it and all that stuff and it's been almost a week and she still can't really walk on it. She can stand on it but she can't walk on it. So we're going to the doctor today because I've had it. She won't listen to a thing that I say. She won't do crutches. Um, she's embarrassed that she hurt herself and won't leave the house. And school starts next week so we got to figure something out. So I figure if I take her to the doctor the doctor might tell her some of the same things I'm telling her, but if it comes from the doctor, then she'll listen. Because I don't know about all of you, but I have two children who both of them will not listen to a word we say half the time when we they ask for advice. But if the same person outside the family will give them the same exact advice, they'll look at them and go, huh, yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll try that. <laughs> God, it's so frustrating. Oh, anyway, my daughter also, she has a lot of anxiety and she gets panic attacks. So it's been a whole week of just bawling and crying and panic attacks and what's going to happen when school starts and uh, I'm exhausted. Yesterday I went up and down the stairs so many times to her room that my hips were actually sore this morning. <laughs> so, like I said, interesting week but not in a good way. I'm hoping the doctor can, I don't know, give us some good news today or convince her to use crutches or something so we can get out of here. Um, so on that note, let me show you guys what I bought. And the next video I do, I also want to tell you guys a story because I'm going to go too long if I tell it now. Um, I have to tell you the story uh, about the airport in Orlando when we were leaving. Um, we, we kind of had a pseudo celebrity sighting kind of <laughs> you guys will understand why I tell you in the next video it's a funny story okay anyway let me get started and show you guys things that I bought um, there were a lot of sales a couple weeks ago on a Friday so I went out and did them as fast as I could because that was also my daughter's birthday and I didn't want to be out all morning because you know she'd freak out if I wasn't home so um the ones that I did hit, I did pretty well on. So the first one that I went to, I picked up this paperweight. And this is a beautiful paperweight. Um, the flower goes all the way to the bottom. I think this is a Dahlia, because I've seen other ones simil kind of similar on eBay, not the same. I have yet to find this one on eBay. But I paid 10 bucks for this. It does have a name on it which you guys aren't going to be able to see but it starts with a V I think and I have yet to find out who made this and then there's a number on it that it looks like 208 um, can't find out anything about it I guess I'm just gonna to have to list it without knowing the artist's name and take a shot I think because it's it's so well done I might actually start it at auction at 100 I haven't that's one thing I haven't listed yet so We'll have to see what happens. I'll have to keep you guys posted on that one. Um, then the other thing that they had at this sale, they actually had a ton of Lennox um, 
which I don't buy a whole lot of, but there were these two people there, this husband and wife. I think they bought like three quarters of the Lennox pieces they had, and they had a lot. I think they spent over $200 by the time all was said and done. It was crazy. They're like, we want this and this and this and this and this and this and this. I'm like, holy cow. They have to resell. How could you possibly have that much Lennox in your house? But anyway, instead of the Lennox, I picked up all of this pewter and the majority of this is tin pewter t-i-n-n -N, which is a company in Norway and um, some of their stuff is pretty popular so I paid for everything you see here I paid 25 bucks which is not bad at all um, so I got this tiny little souvenir spoon with this cross-country skier which, I don't know if you can see him or not, it's not focusing. Focus! Wake up camera! There we go. Um, haven't listed this yet. Maybe get, you know, five bucks or something for it. Then, the, this is the other thing from that lot I haven't listed yet. This is a cheese knife, as you can see, with this weird, like, leaf or looks like the veins inside of a leaf and it's got Greek lettering on it so I do not think it's Norwegian but um, can't find out any info on that so I'll just have to list that as is without a maker then these are both from tin these two bottle openers there's this Viking and this gnome and they're solid pewter really heavy um, really good quality and I listed these at auction for 30 a piece I did have a watcher on each one of them, it was 30 with free shipping but they didn't sell but I'm gonna put them back up in my store for 30 a piece because um, I've seen other similar ones go for around that price then um, got these two candle holders and they look very similar, but they're not exact matches. One's a little taller than the other. Very kind of primitive looking. These are also from tin. They're weighted. They have like cement in the bottom. You can see the felt came off of this one. So everything averaged out to about a dollar per piece. Uh, I think I was asking 25 or 30 for those. They're still up at auction. I think I have a watcher on them. Then these cups, these little, I guess you would call them cordial cups. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to call them cordial cups, cordial glasses. These are from, that. put these down. These are from Oslo Metal, also in Norway, different maker. You know, they're very have a very simplistic design. I think I put these up for 30 with free shipping. And I don't think I have any watchers on them right now. They might they might take a little while longer to sell because they're not from um, tin like everything else is here. Because tin stuff I, I checked it before I bought this lot and tin stuff sells pretty well. Um, then I bought these four salt and pepper shakers, two matching sets with these um, flourish designs on the bottom and I found out they were designed back in the 60s I don't think I have any watchers on these what is wrong with this focus? thank you um, so it's about I think I put them up for 25 for all four with free shipping but no bites on those yet then I also with the same pattern I have two of these um, pepper and salt mills. Oh great, now my battery's dying. Fantastic. And these I put up for 25 with free shipping and I have four watchers on these so I'm really hopeful that these will get a bid and they'll sell because those are much rarer than the actual just regular salt pepper shakers. Then I got four of these napkin rings and These are a certain pattern that are really popular with um, tin pewter collectors. 
and I don't know how to pronounce it. It's called, it's K-O-N-G-E. And it has these Vikings and dragons and stuff. So I think I put these up for 20 as a buy it now. And then these are much rarer. These are the same pattern that Kanji or Kange or however you pronounce it. And these are also little shot glasses, cordial cups. These already got multiple bids. I put them up for 30 with free shipping and they're at 31 right now with a bunch of people watching them. So I hope these go higher. So these little guys should pay for everything that I bought, hopefully. And last but not least is this platter or tray, this round tray with the raised edge and it has these pierced um, crosses in the center. Come on. I swear you, I'm going to get so many complaints for you guys because all I do is now is just yell at this new camera about focusing. <laughs> There we go. <clears throat> I can't find this pattern anywhere. I think I put this up for 30 or 40 with free shipping because it's pretty heavy. Um, and I don't have any watchers so far. So we'll see where that goes. All right, I'm going to try and hurry up with the rest of this since my battery is dying. Um, then I went to a sale and I saw that she had paper punches, you know, like you use in scrapbooking, card making and stuff. And they were both Mar Martha Stewart. Some Martha Stewart paper punches can go for a boatload of money. Don't ask me why. I have no idea, but they can. So I found this one. This is a, like a Halloween cat. And I also found a bat. I bought them for a dollar a piece. I already sold the bat for 25 And this one I actually put up for 75 Because I saw another one sell for 79 And another one sold for auction at 50 So if I don't get any bites on this within, I don't know, two, three weeks, then I might lower the price down a little bit. But I won't have any problem getting at least 50 for that, which is absolutely insane for a paper punch. And then that was a neighborhood sale. So down the street from that one, I found in the free box, I found some little pamphlets and stuff. These embroidery stitch leaflets uh, or booklets. I put these up together for I think $9.99. Then there were these two terrariums and bottle gardens from the 70s. I think I also put both of those up together for $9.99. And then I had these two old cake decorating books from Wilton, the yearbook, and then this is just a cake decorating the easy Wilton way. Put these up for $9.99 with free shipping. These got a bid and these did sell last night for $9.99. And then this one was the one I had a good feeling about. It says Art of Geometric Thread Design. This is a whole book about string art with really, really gorgeous pictures from the 1970s. It's out of print. I put it up for $19.99 just to see and got a bid and it's going to be shipped to Brooklyn today. So, love the free box. Alright, um, then the last thing that I bought at that neighborhood sale was this Brito bear. He's called Happy Bear. I'm not going to take him out of the box right now because it's in styrofoam and that noise drives me insane. Um, but you can look him up in my listings. It's just a little like resin, poly resin bear with this patchwork pop art style pattern all over him. I bought them for ten. Um, I have them up for fifty with free shipping, and should have no problem getting that for him because a lot of the other ones are, are being uh, priced much higher than that. Okay, then I went to the thrift store, and I forget why I was even out that way. But anyway, I went there and I got this holy Bible. This is from. Douay Reims. It's a Catholic Bible. It's a remember, Remembrance Edition, which I'd never heard of before. Paid a dollar, sold this last night at auction for $14.99 with three medium mail shipping. And then the rest of these were all together, it was like $14. I can't remember what, exactly what I paid for each one of them. This is just a little cross stitch kit where you can make all these little shopping bag ornaments. I think I put this up for like $15. And this is just a chart. Teresa Wensler, she's a popular artist. 
put this floral bell pull up for I think $6.99. And this is a Bucilla Needlework Plaid Puff Pillow Kit. Vintage, probably from the 50s or 60s. Um, it's also called something else. What the heck is this called? It is a, oh, smocked pillow. Put this up for about 20 This Dimension Cruel Kit, Everything Grows. I think I put that up for 20 And then this stocking kit, which is just says Nativity. I think I put that up for like 18 So, got all those. And then off Craigslist, I got a cross-stitch deal. The lady was willing to ship them to me, thank goodness. So for $15, I got these three kits. I didn't really care at all about these two. These are two wolf kits. They're not really worth much. I put them up together for, I believe, 15 or 16 with free shipping. But this was the one I was after. This is a Dimensions Gold Collection stocking called the North Wind. And there's two on eBay besides mine right now. One, they want $234, and there's like 24 people watching it. And the other one is 185 So I put mine up for 175 with free shipping. And we'll see what happens. But that was definitely a good Craigslist buy. Um, and then the last thing I bought on that Friday, and this is very, very heavy, good one. Okay, guys, sorry. This is going to have to be a part two for this video or something. Um, <laughs> maybe I can splice it onto the end of part one. And I had to switch cameras, so this is my old crappy camera um, that you're looking at right now because I don't have an extra battery for the other one yet. Anyway, this was the last thing I bought at the sale on August 11th. And this was a really, really good deal. If you can see this whole thing here. This is a snap-on um, die cast metal. It's very heavy. Um, obviously, it's a replica of one of their toolboxes. And uh, it's also a bank. And it's it's hard to show you guys, but under this drawer right here, way at the back, is a slot where you put your money. And then if you turn this over, there's a panel you can open to get your money out. But these drawers do open. Actually, this one also pops out, which it doesn't want to do right now. It does have a few condition issues, unfortunately. But I only paid five bucks for it. And it also came with this little mechanics cart which is adorable, which fits in the side over here. It's going to go in there. There we go. And there's also little replicas of tools over on this side. Pull all these little drawers out, and you can see the tools. Really, really cute. So anyway, paid five bucks for it and came home, and my husband was very impressed with this. My husband's a mechanic very familiar with snap-on. He knows, you know, how high priced they are because a lot of his tools are snap-on. And he has a snap-on toolbox in the garage. And he's like, how much did you pay for that? <laughs> you know, $5. So he looked it up and I think this used to retail when it was available. It's been retired since for like two fifty, which is crazy. Um, like I said, has some condition issues, especially up at the top right here, which is hard to see, but the paint's a little bubbly. There you can see it. So I haven't listed this yet. My husband's got to clean it up and lubricate the drawers and stuff because they stick a little bit. But once he does that, I'll put it up and I'll probably start it around 100 plus shipping and see where it goes. So like I said, had a pretty successful day that Friday. And all right, let me show you what I got this past Friday. Um, there wasn't much going on, so I th and I think I only bought stuff at two sales. The one sale I bought stuff at, the only thing I bought was I spent a whopping dollar fifty on some Magic Treehouse books. I actually bought six of them for a quarter apiece, and I already had I think thirteen here at home. So I put those all together, the lot of nineteen of them for twenty dollars with free mini mail shipping shouldn't have a problem selling those and then I went to this warehouse the next town over it said warehouse sale it had all these pictures and like you know we need to get this stuff out of here I'm like 
okay, some of their pictures looked interesting, so I said, fine, I'll go over there. Well, I get over there, and it's like this little office building slash industrial park, and I found the warehouse, and I saw the door was open. There was absolutely nobody there, and, which made me a little leery. I'm like, okay, <laughs> don't know if I want to go in the empty warehouse by myself, but I did, and I'm grateful that I did because I found um, two really good things. I spent $40 total. First thing I got was this Viewpoint Solutions. This is one of those scanner ones. And I've seen these uh, on one of the shopping channels. I think it's HSN. The only reason I even know about it is because the only day I ever watch HSN is during their craft day. And they always sell these things because you know they're photo and scrapbooking related because they scan your photographs. Um, they sell these for about $100 a piece. I'm not going to get that much for mine because it's used, but it does have everything with it. It has all the software, the directions, the power cords, um, a case for the wands, the cleaning cloth, and everything. And then there's a dock where you can feed pictures through if you want to do it that way. So I was going to sell this, but I think right now I'm going to keep it for a little while, learn how to use it, hopefully. And uh, I have a couple big boxes of pictures from my grandparents and my great aunt down in my basement that I really want to scan and put on memory cards um, so that I have a backup. Uh, and then the other thing I bought which already sold and is being shipped out today, was I found this Chi Turbo 2-inch flat iron, and I've bought Chi curling irons and flat irons before. Always had really, really good luck with them. So I bought this one for 15, brand new in the box, put it up on Saturday, and I think within two hours it was gone. I sold this for $110 with free shipping. So, not too shabby, very happy with that. And then, last but not least, I just want to show you guys a couple other of my best sales this weekend. eBay, thankfully, has finally woken up. I had a couple weeks there where it was just dead as a doornail. And things are picking back up again. And I think I have like 15 or 16 things I have to go down in the basement and pack up. Ugh. But, um, sold this this morning. This is a bottle. Oh, I keep hitting the hitting the screen on this thing and I realized this is my old camera doesn't have a touch screen. Okay. This is Joe Malone uh, Blue Agava and Cacao Cologne. Um, showed this to you guys in a previous video from the um, Pennsylvania Catholic um, school rummage sale. I paid three bucks for this. It's only an ounce and it's almost about 95% full. Paid three dollars, sold this for a hundred today. So, really thrilled about that. And then from that same sale, for two dollars and fifty cents, I bought this um, Tuluma tote, this backpack, where they source fabric from all over the world and they make them into different backpacks. Spent two fifty on it and sold this for fifty at auction. So. Really happy with that. So I had a very good weekend and a pretty good Monday so far with the sale of this perfume like an hour ago. So not too bad. Uh, so I'm going to get this packed up, shipped out, and then I have to take Gimpy to the doctor <laughs> if I don't what to do about her ankle. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And next time, hopefully, I will remember to tell you guys the, the uh, airport story in Orlando. Thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a great week selling, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.